Hello, my beautiful Leos. This is your reading for mid-month July. We're already here. Hopefully, we get some soothing energy. <laughs> um, so, we're going to go into your oracle card first. Well, this is the opening card I like to use to open the energy. So, let's pray. Spirit guide, guardian angel, divine energy, universal energy. What do you have for the Leos watching this right now? About their mid-month July. Only allowing truth, honesty, and love and acceptance within the space as above so below mm. okay leos if you're new to my channel thank you so much for being here my name is amber and uh we go through a couple of spreads we're going to be here for a good amount of time so be aware of that okay This is a good time to listen to your intuition about things that don't feel right with Spirit Keeper of the West, Leo. Okay? You're walking into your own power. Okay? You can do whatever you please. You have the right of way. This is a transformation. Letting things go. Using reasoning. Okay? To be above all of the things that are happening for you. You have a chance to go above things. Okay? I feel like you're gathering your life. You're getting yourself together. Um, the people that are for you are going to be attracted to you at this time. So I do see people coming in. Like your your support system is being created in this new endeavor that you're going in. There's a new endeavor for someone. Someone's moving. Someone is um, moving, changing jobs, getting new relationships. Someone is moving into new things trying to get their life more stable and more supported for themselves and their families and what they want okay so let's get some <clears throat> cards out for the first spread Ooh, leo leos you are leaving a marriage some of you are you're leaving behind something that was your life um it could be church it could be a relationship it could be a state it could be a home it could be a job okay it was your life it was something significant in your life you're moving forward to find happiness and joy or to um make a dream come true and I feel like you feel really good and optimistic about it. This is evening out a lot of the karmic things that's been going on in your life for things that you have held back from. It's really working that out. That feels very, very good. Remember to... Because I feel like there may be a lot of people coming back towards you. And to use discernment with those people, okay? But a lot of the clouds, a lot of the confusion, a lot of the ups and downs you were in are clearing up. Good, great energy for you. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see what's going on in your environment. Oh my God. Yes, yes, Leos. Your environment is looking spectacular. Somebody is working on a relationship. They are working with you. It's looking good. You're coming together. Things are being more balanced in the relationship. You definitely have an opportunity to start a new job, get a new home. Um, that's in your environment. That is an opportunity that you can take and go and you can take that to the bank, okay? Your environment is trying to balance you out. So this person that's trying to offer you something is really trying to balance you out. I feel like things are moving really swift. Someone's moving out of something into something better for them, okay? Something that's going to make them happy. Maybe even a relationship. Somebody wants a relationship with you. They're willing to work things out, okay? You may have been friends with this person or co-workers, but I, I just feel like a lot of balance. Lots and lots of balance here. Making new friends. Yeah, you're definitely creating a tribe. You're creating the life that you want, Leo. 
Ooh, Empress in reverse. You weren't feeling too good. There may be a problem with self-esteem or um, some child issues like the other child's parent that you're not with or something of that nature, okay? Not feeling really good about it. Needing to make a call. This may have stopped you from wanting to move forward on something, but I feel like you're going to make a choice for yourself. Yeah, I feel like you weren't being true to yourself and you weren't following your dreams and you're deciding to do that. You're deciding to do that. You're trying to be one and come together with yourself, you know, like build your own support system, your own happy place. You're making that choice. You're making that choice to make the decision. You know, there's something that wasn't cooperating with you like a love relationship and that was the catalyst to start all this from moving. I feel like you tried to work something out, it didn't work out, and then you moved from it for some of you, okay? You made the call. You made that call for yourself. Now you're building your self-esteem. You're building your happy place. You're feeling more supported where you are. Or if you're not, you're definitely going into that for July, mid-July, end of July. Okay. Okay. Your old life or your old situation, your old marriage, you feel like you lacked control there. It was always this feeling like there was potential for things to get better. However, it never did. Okay? Um, and that's why you're moving out of it. You're really excited, though, about moving into this new adventure. And you are going fast. And I feel like everything is just moving really fast for you. It feels good. It's just moving really fast out of where you were, okay? You may even be surprised that you moved so fast, but you did, okay? There is an issue with trying to find balance once you get there. Once you get there and the excitement falls off, there's going to be an issue where you don't know what to do. This is a good time of listening to your intuition. There may be some legal matters that you have to take care of, okay, that you didn't see coming, but that's going to be resolved. I feel like all is going to be well in that situation. However, what else do we have? Mm. You made a decision to clear out the confusion in your life, right? And I feel like you feel very secure with yourself and the decisions that you have made. You're afraid of going back into a situation where you don't have power, you don't have direction, okay? Where you don't feel needed, where you don't feel like you're in control, where you're not going towards your goals. And you're scared to take risks because of that. That's something that you're going to have to work on in the last part of July. Yeah, but you're going to be working on that. You're going to be working on that. Um, it's like your shadow work. Your shadow work is being afraid to take risks or being afraid to... Um, that you're going to go back. Like, if you take a risk, you're going to go back into where you were. But I feel like you're going to work on that. That's going to be revealed to you over time. It's going to be a process that you're going to go through. You're going to gain wisdom. Like I said, it's going to be slow. But I feel like it's coming in, okay? It's coming in with all this stability that's coming towards you. So, you'll be okay. This is a good reading for you, Leos. I love it. I love when Leos get good readings. I love a Leo and a good spiritual energy. Oof. I know you do too, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to go deeper into the reading. This will be considered the basic spread if you want a reading with me to book one. The link's in the description box below. I'll be more than happy to do a reading for you. I'm really in depth. Um, lately, I've been extremely intuitive. Let's see, Leos. So we're going to start off with the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the King of Wands making a return, the Sun, Three of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Empress. Queen of Cups, the 
And the tower. Wow. Yeah, you definitely got some love coming in. Love is moving fast, okay? You either got... But this is someone that you know, okay? Possibly a water sign or another fire sign, okay? Um, whatever this person is, you've already been in good standing with them. And I feel like it's just moving really fast with this person, okay? For others of you, or for the rest of you, really, everything is coming together to make a cohesive life for yourself. Things are getting balanced, right? You're feeling like um, your emotions are in a good spot. Things are just mixing really well for you, okay? In the center, it's all about your happiness. All you want to do is be happy, okay? You want to be happy. You want to be supported. You want to have good friends around you, good family, good structure. That's what you want. Okay? You're so focused on your stability, you're nurturing that. You're nurturing your new creation. That's what they're saying to me. Your new creation of life. Right? The things that nurture you. This could be that water energy, someone coming in to offer you something and it's giving you some direction. This could also be that you're just following your heart now and it's giving you some direction. It's giving you a place to go and a place to feel very secure. So that's good. That's good, Leo. There has been a change in your location. It may be more sunny where you are, okay? It may be the friends that you have around you that are just increasing how you feel about life in a, in a positive way. But I feel like you're, you're moving towards your happiness and you're in a happy spot, especially at the middle part of July um, towards the end. You're definitely feeling more secure. You're feeling more secure, dealing with your family, uh, spending time with your kids. I feel like you're in a really, really good spot. I, like I said, you're going to be in a good spot, and someone's going to see that and want to make some sort of love offer or open up to you. Uh, I feel like this person is very much directed towards you, right? They want you to put all of that drive and energy they see you have towards them. The goodness, the love, the the fun that you bring in. And I feel like they're going to tell you this. This may be someone you've been friends with or you met through a friends or at a club or at a party or something like that. Yeah, your friend, you're going to meet a lot of good people. I really keep feeling that. You're going to meet good people. Things are just going to come into you. Um truth it's like you're going to be surrounded by truth you're going to be in a very nurturing environment it's going to help you grow into this empress or a stronger empress okay but i feel like this love offer hits you at a point where you feel like you need to take control of the situation um because you don't want to be in a situation that you were in or be hurt so you kind of close off I feel like you close off. This is a shock to the person that you were with because they'd never seen this side of you or or even assumed that this is what will happen because you've been in such good energy in the past. Your direction is truth, Leo. That's all that you want. You see the love coming towards you, see the friends, see the happiness, but you still feel like you have to take care of yourself, right? So you're not completely opening up you're more like showing or doing what is still safe and comfortable, you know, for you. I feel like you're going to have a talk with some friends about that energy because I feel like someone's going to confront you um, about it or about something. And you're going to confront them with your truth or what you have been through so they have a bit of an understanding. Um, I feel like this is going to change things with your friends. This is going to change things with your friends. What is it going to change? Give me one card. Yeah, your, your need to make sure nothing bad happens or to defend yourself 
you're going to be more open to starting a new beginning. It's like going to break down your walls. Yeah. Your li your life is definitely becoming more cohesive. You're feeling more secure where you are, Leo. This is a great reading. Absolutely. Let's talk about your friends. Let's go into this Three of Cups or whoever these friends are. You may have your guard up a little bit when you meet them. Okay. Um, you may be a little standoffish. I'm getting the resting bitch face image here okay but these friends are going to open you up i feel like you became that person after what you've been through and this is they're going to help you open up what is this communication yeah you're gonna they're gonna talk about you letting go of the burdens look the same two cards the same two cards they're going to talk about you letting go of the burdens yeah, you're going to gain some wisdom in this conversation. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Let's see this Knight of Cups. I know that's what y'all are interested in, isn't it? Yeah. Someone is trying to start you on a new journey. Okay? Um, I feel like they want to be the person that saves you. Because your heart may be cut off from having or being around people that don't work with you don't want the same things as you do Leo and they don't want you to think that they don't want you to think that love is a thing of the past I feel like you don't want to be in anything committed right now but they're still gonna wait and see what happens whoever this person is I feel like they want to heal you they want you to take a risk. I feel like you're thinking about taking a risk and just accepting, you know, that sometimes people go through bad things and moving forward. Because you see this, you're overly emotionally happy right now. So you're open to real possibilities and real things. And you want to put down the fight so you can find this Ten of Cups. Let's talk about the tower. Yeah, you're going to release your emotions and stop fighting. Let the let the past go. You know, letting go of the resting bitch face and overindulge for a little bit and see if, you know, I feel like there's different opportunities for you to have something and you're going to overindulge in a new possibility or even a new job. I, I I feel like Leo, you just you just moving on. Things are good. Things are great for you, actually. So we're gonna do an abundance card. Love. They really want me to pull one of these. How interesting. Okay. Let's pull one of these for you, Leo. Oh, that's why. You got the sun it's a one new beginnings beautiful new horizons are opening to you everything is just spectacular right the light is coming into your life you're basking in it you're feeling good you're starting new projects starting new careers starting new love relationships stay optimistic about your love life okay Sometimes things happen to us in the past for us to learn and become stronger, and that's what happened to you. Don't let it become one of those things you retain and hold on to and think that, you know, nothing can happen to you. Soulmate and true love coming into your environment. That's beautiful. Someone coming to show you love and teach you a lesson, right? It's someone that you're getting to know, right? I feel like you're going to bond. You're going to bond and be totally different like this is someone that may be different than you but there's something you're gonna bond to don't be afraid to open up to this person i feel like they see you you know what i'm saying like they see you not what you can bring them not your body nothing like that they just see you like at a soul level if you will 
Okay, in career you have, or abundance, you have release, jealousy, and bountiful nature. Um, don't look at other people's situation, other the way that other people do things. You're on your own journey and your own path, okay? Once you realize that, follow that, and just go along towards the sun energy, right? Where you're getting um, nurtured and, and watered and you know, miracle growed <laughs> every day to be the best you, that's where you need to go for, towards, okay? So thank you so much for listening, Leos. If you want a personal reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That link's in the description box below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. I love reading comments. I really do. Even if you don't think that we do, us YouTubers, we really do. And um, I will see you next month for the August readings. I love you so much. Love and light. Bye-bye.